Hello, what's up and welcome. My name is Cozy and today I'm going to be doing a live gameplay tutorial of the newest taco game, Acryptia. The very first thing you're going to want to do is head to play.acryptia.io and sign in with your Wax wallet. Once you're signed in with your Wax account, you'll be in the tavern. Now there's loads of stuff. This is basically the menu for the game. But this is a gameplay tutorial, so I'm going to click on this big door here. Welcome to the dungeon. This is the main gameplay menu for Acryptia. And we can see our good friend Ruggo over there in the top right hand corner. This little guy is going to do everything he can to make your life as miserable as possible. And our job is to beat him. In the middle of the screen we have the game board. We have the top row, which are all the new cards that are drawn by Ruggo. And we've also got the bottom row, which is our player row, it has our player card in the center here, showing uh, 13 HP. Now, to play cards, we have to drag them down from the top row to the bottom, like so. We're going to drag the short sword down, and this one actually does free damage. And this monster here has uh, free hit points. So we're going to drag the sword from the bottom to kill the monster. Simple enough, right? And um, we can also drag items over to this hole over here to sell them so you can see this gun is worth one and by selling it I will get one gold now an interesting thing there because there was only one card remaining on the top row another three cards were drawn by Ruggo unlike the other cards we can't actually sell the gold we can't just drop it in this hole and get one gold you actually have to drag it to one of these slots here so for example I can drag it to my hand and I'll get the gold for it um, I'm also going to drag the shield down and one of the weapons down this is a great opportunity to show you how health potions work so I could put the shield here and then uh, use it to block the damage taken by this but I'm actually going to take the damage to the face it reduced me down to 12 HP and I'm going to use this uh, healing potion here to restore my health. Now note that it doesn't restore my health past 13. 13 is the maximum. Even though that healed 2, it just restored it back to 13. Now, I can't actually drag this down. I can't drag this down either. So I can either sell this card, I can sell this one, or I could drop this one in there and not get any gold for it. So it depends on what you want to do, what your play style is, but either way I need to get rid of something here. So I'm actually going to get rid of the gold piece. And the health potion disappears at the end of the turn. So you have to be careful about the slots you use, uh, because if you fill it, then you won't be able to use it. We can use the laser stuff from that. We're going to take two damage heal the two, block the one, and because there's only there's no cards left, there are only two left, I could drag them both down to my hands and that would finish the turn, but it's better just to sell them, surely. There you go. And with that, the first floor is finished. After each floor, we head to the merchant menu here, which is like the respite between floors and here we can buy cards we can spend our gold and we can rest up so we check out the merchant over here by clicking buy and you can see the cards he has available you spend gold to buy them and when you buy them they are added to Ruggo's deck which makes each floor a little bit easier we can also use the campfire down here and each time you pay 12 gold you restore 4 HP you can use it multiple times if you choose to um, however, I cannot go above 13 health, so I don't need to, and even if I did need to, I've only got 12 coins, so I'm not able to anyway. Um, we've also got the tip jar here, and tipping the merchant has various consequences in the game. Um, they can change the price of the cards that the merchant offers. Uh, if you don't tip the merchant, he actually won't even let you use the campfire, so... Yeah, you're going to have to play around with the different tip amounts there. Uh, the last thing in here is actually the rope, which allows you to quit the game. It's the escape rope there. But we're just going to click on continue to head to the next level. 
there is one more element that I didn't mention, which is this cauldron down here, which I just accidentally clicked. And what that does is refreshes the top row and draws another four cards. But you do have to pay four life for that and it actually increases uh, every time you use it. So it's just as well I used it so you could see as an example. It was, it was all planned. So I'm going to play pretty quickly and so you can see what the gameplay is like. And there we have it. That was a quick gameplay tutorial for Encryption. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one.